Good morning one and all. In this session we are going to learn about insert, update and delete operations in MongoDB. So which includes insert one, update one, delete one and insert many, update many and delete many and also find one. That is while performing all these operations we are going to verify whether the update operation or insert operation or delete operation is affected or not in MongoDB. Now I will open my command prompt. Yes, so I am going to navigate to the bin folder where my MongoDB is installed. Uh, server, version and bin folder. Now I will open my Atlas cluster and I am going to copy the connection string. So connect with Mongo shell. I am going to copy this one. I am going to paste it in the command prompt. Now I am going to enter the password. Yes, it is successful. So it is connected to MongoDB Atlas cluster. Now I am going to verify how many databases are present or not. So show DBS. So these are the, all the databases that are present in my MongoDB Atlas. Now I am going to create a new database and as well as collection also. So I am going to make use my database name is, uh, let me say my database name is Chrome. Uh, uh, so my database name is Chrome. Now I am going to create a collection. So db dot create collection of, uh, let me say my collection name is internet. So I am going to enter it. Yes, the database is created. I am going to create another database also. Let me take my database name is college. And I am going to create the collection db dot create collection of uh, let me say KBN. Yes. Over. Now I am going to verify whether the database are inserted or not. So show DBS. Yes, you can clearly see that the database name Chrome as well as college is also both are inserted. I am going to use that college database. So it is already in a college database. I am going to clear the screen. Now I am going to insert the database. So while inserting the values in MongoDB, they are going to call by using a collection. So in MongoDB, the values are key value pairs that are called as documents. And moreover, MongoDB accepts the JSON values. That is JavaScript object notation. So let me take, so I am going to use once again KVN, use KVN. So switch it to database name KVN. Now I am going to insert db dot collection name is college dot insert one of I am going to insert it as a key value pair. So name is equal to let me take Vijayawada and uh, let me take ID as 123. I am going to hit the enter button and you can clearly see that Acknowledger is equal to true and insert ID is equal to this. So for every document which is inserted in MongoDB, it will generate an unique ID. Now I'm going to verify whether the value is inserted or not using db dot collection name dot find. Now let me find one. So I press, I press the enter. So you can clearly see that the value is inserted in my collection. Now I'm going to insert another data. So insert one. I'm going to use the same ID Vijayawada in the name and I'm going to change the ID as 100. I'm going to press the enter. Yes, acknowledge is equal to 2. Insert ID. You can see that clearly a different ID has been generated for the next document. I'm going to verify whether the value is inserted or not. Yes, find 1. So if at all I'm going to use find, then the all values are going to be shown. So find 1 means only the first value is going to be retrieved and find means it will retrieve all the values that is all the collection values now insert is over now i am going to insert many documents so db dot my collection name is college insert many of i am going to enter the same name is equal to let me say guntur comma id is equal to let me say as uh, 123 now i am going to close this one and i am going to add another collection that is another json value uh, let me take name is equal to Hyderabad and let me take the ID as 678 and I am going to close this one and I am going to separate it by comma 
and again another value this key value pair let me take main is equal to let me say warangle oh, sorry warangle and let me take the id as 789 it will clearly throw an error because since while inserting many documents in mongodb it must be inserted in the form of an array so it has clearly thrown an array called array of documents so let it will change in the query i'm going to make it as array so it must be enclosed in closed brackets yes now it will successfully insert many documents and as you can clearly see that the insert ids are 0 1 and 2 that is three documents are inserted now i'm going to verify whether all the documents are inserted by using find function dot pretty pretty is nothing but the output will be displayed in a neat format yes you can clearly see that name vijayawada name vijayawada name guntu name hyderabad and name Warangal. So in this way, while inserting a number of documents in MongoDB using insert many, it must be inserted in the form of an array. Now we are going to delete one. I am going to make a delete operation. So db dot. Let me clear the screen first. db dot. My collection name is college. Uh, let me delete one of. Let me say name is equal to Vijayawada. Yeah, I'm going to press the enter. Let me verify whether it is deleted or not. Yes, exactly. Acknowledged is equal to 2. Deleted count is equal to 1. I'm going to verify whether it is deleted or not using the find1 method. Find method only. Yeah, you can clearly see that. So, it consists of initially has 5 rows. Now, it becomes a 4 rows. Now, I'm going to delete Warangal also. So, let me make delete one off. Let me take the name as Warangal. Okay, I have pressed the enter. Yes, deleted count is equal to one. And I am going to verify whether it is deleted or not. Yes, you can clearly see that the Warangal ID is also deleted. That is the key value pair which consists of Warangal is also deleted. If at all you are going to delete many, so the same case delete many is also used. Let us say, for example, I am going to insert another data with the same value. That is db dot. Let me take the collection name. College dot insert one of let me make an insertion of name is equal to the same name exactly vijayawada and i am going to make the id as different id 890 i am going to insert this one now it is inserted successfully now i am going to verify whether it is inserted or not you can clearly see that vijayawada has two entries now i am going to delete vijayawada so here db dot let me say the delete function is also used for deleting the number of our data or else we can use delete many also so db dot college dot delete many of let me provide the value name is equal to vijayawada let me see whether it is successful or not yes deleted count is equal to two that is two entries are deleted with the name vijayawada now i am going to verify it whether it is deleted or not Yes, you can clearly see that the both entries which includes Vijayawada is deleted. So in this way, delete one and delete many works. Now the last one is update. Now I'm going to update this one. How can we update using an aggregate operation called set? So I'm going to use db dot. My collection name is college. Update one of which one I'm going to update. I'm going to change the name which consists of Ubuntu. To, I'm going to change it to let me say dollar set and and I'm going to change the name to uh, let me take another uh, city uh, which is called Visa. yes now I'm going to hit the enter yes you can clearly see that acknowledged is equal to true match account is equal to one and modified account is equal to one now I'm going to verify whether the Guntu name is changed to Visa or not so i'm going to make it as fine yes you can clearly see that the name vizag has been inserted in the place of Ubuntu. so in this way we can make update one operation and also we can change update many also that is for example if i am going to insert the same value with another like let me say db dot uh, i make this clear the screen first oh yeah db dot insert one of right collection name db dot college dot insert one of let me go to insert uh, let me say as document that is json name is equal to vi by zag and comma id is equal to 
let me say as 567. Now I'm going to insert this one. Now I'm going to find whether it is inserted or not. Uh, it's not fine. Yes, you can clearly see that Vizag has been inserted. Now I'm going to update many. So db dot collection name dot. Uh, let me say update many of. Here I'm going to update the name that is v i g a g Vizag two. I'm going to change the name to. Uh, let me say. I'm going to use a dollar set that is an aggregate operator. So I'm going to change the name to uh, let me take uh, take another value that is Vishakapatnam. Yes, now I'm going to hit the enter. Yes, you can clearly see that the matched count is equal to 1 and modified count is equal to 1. I'm going to verify whether it is updated or not. Yes, you can clearly see that name is equal to Visak button is updated, but this value is not updated. Why it is not updated? Since the value which we are used here, name is equal to Visak, is in the form of an array, which is not an individual value. And this one is the individual value. That's why the value has been updated. So in this way, we can use update, update many, that is update one, update many, delete one and delete many, insert one and insert many. So these are the basic code operations in MongoDB. Thank you.